This had to been one of the most exciting 1v1 matches I have watched in a very long time. This one and one other match today that I saw, it was uh, Yans versus Fahad. Uh, was probably the best 1v1 matches I saw, but we're going to be watching First Killer versus Rawas. We're watching Rawas right now, RW9, F16, Esports he plays for. First Killer playing for First Clan, or uh, <laughs> First Clan, that's funny. First Killer playing for FaZe Clan, of course, and uh, yeah, this one was... I, I thought this was such a great match because first killer is obviously absolutely insane in this game, but wow, Rawash just, well, we'll see how this one goes. Anyways, first killer starting off with the 50-50 on the air dribble, getting it over Rawash on the very last touch, very nice shot, top shelf, it didn't look anything special, but that was really tough from uh, FK, very nice shot right there. 1-0, see how Rawash spawns, responds, he gets 100 boost, takes the ball up, look at the little double jump readjustment. A nice flip reset over first killer. I swear, like, in 1v1, it, it's just... Like, I mean, obviously this is true, but it, it's so much harder to challenge the ball when no, nobody's behind you. First killer getting a kickoff goal here. But, like, in 3v3, when Rawas goes for that play, it's probably getting blocked by first killer. Because first killer is going to play, like, the ball. The person in net is going to play the shot. You, you, you get the idea. But, uh, anyways... He's got a lot of space to work with here. First killer covers the net very well, though. Rawaz going to do some shadow defense. Does pretty much the same thing as first killer. Just plays really nice defense. Takes it to the corner. Rawaz very low on boost. First killer does such a nice job controlling the game. Taking all the boost. Making sure he, making sure he keeps possession. Like right there, first killer gets a little turn. Rawaz very low boost to work with. Grabs one pad, hits it out. He can't really maintain possession of the ball, but he's just trying to create space for himself. Sometimes you have to throw the ball away to create space, get the boost, and actually get out of your half. You get out of your half by giving them the ball sometimes. But look at that right there. Ruas has got to be one of the best defenders in the world after this game. We have a lot of the game to see why, but this is one big reason because of these booming clears out of his corner. First killer thinks he still has the ball. Rawash just literally banks it all the way across the map. Notices one little tiny mistake and capitalizes. Very good shot from his corner. Very good job just not playing really in net defense, but just playing the uh, just the clear game, the long game like we talked about. Very underrated. See if Rawash can get any pressure here. He has 100 boost, staying next to the ball. Actually flips early. First killer might be able to get this one on. He does not. And Rawash can get back in time. Just he, he hits the ball out. Like he keeps hitting the ball out, but he doesn't mind doing that because he knows he can take the like the 1v1 now that he has like more space to work with. And once again, we have another counter. First killer just over committing. I guess you would count the last goal and this goal over committing. So it is now 3 2 for uh, Ruas. He hits that ball on his end, gets the middle boost. See if he challenges this. Just starts shadow defending early. First killer going to be up. This could be very lethal. Ruas, great defense. Just kind of hovers with them. It's literally like both cars hovering in the air. They're both just staying right with each other. The ball can't go anywhere else. And holy goodness. The same thing has happened, I swear, three times in a row. It's just first killer being too close to the play. And Ruas just absolutely capitalizing. Just pulling the trigger. Shooting very, very quickly. Super impressive stuff. So it's 4-2 right now, a little beneath halftime, a little past halftime, first killer has some room, Ruas not quite going to challenge, almost the shot, the shot almost went in, Ruas look at this defense though, he's got to respect the shot so he has to line himself in a position where he can cover both the shot and be ready for the dribble, so he just kind of parks his car and gets ready for it, waits on the wall for first killer's move. Pretty low boost here again. He just goes for the quick shot because he doesn't have much boost in the tank. Better to try and make him react to something than just 50 and then first killer gets a free goal. Actually going to miss the challenge here. But he should be able to get back and recover. Very nice play from first killer to keep that ball low. Rawas really has no boost in net. And he chooses to fake challenge with the ball right next to his net. Which seems like not a bad idea. 
But since first killer goes low there and Arias ends up jumping, all first killer has to do is just low 50 and he gets a free goal. So you gotta think like, oh, if Arias challenges that, then he's probably fine. But you gotta think, if he challenges, then first killer might flick it. So that's why 1v1 is so tough. He has 100 boost here though, finally some space to work with. A flip, first killer respects. I like this play. That was disgusting. See, like, I'm shooting this. And, th and that's why I'm bad at ones. First killer would say that. But he fakes that shot with the, like, fakes the air roll shot. Comes back down. And then he just 50s it in the net. Beautiful stuff. And I apologize. If you can hear it in my voice, I am a little sick right now. So, uh, if I stumble on my words a little more than usual, that has a little something to do with it. That's yeah, a great defense too, by the way. Fake challenges. First killer gets all these touches on the ball. And it's just going to be another goal. Just a nice counter. Super respect. Super good defense. Lots of shots too. Rias really doing just great 1v1 gameplay. 6-3. A minute 10 left. This might be just in. That is just in. A kickoff goal there. Makes it 7-3. Ras definitely hasn't had like the the craziest goals. We saw that one with the fake arrow shot, and uh, there, there was another one earlier in the game too. A lot of them are just counters though. The first killer just did not anticipate or respect. First killer with the flip though, that is a great challenge, absolutely beautiful. If he waits in net, and that's just gonna be another goal. It seems like, yeah, it's either a counter. Well, they're. Essentially all like counter plays and open nets for Roas, but like first killer goes either too close to the ball or like he's all in on his offense. That seems like a majority of the goals. I would say like five goals how Roas scored. But of course that is all great defense. Not taking that away from Roas at all. Just pointing out maybe why first killer has been conceding some goals more than usual. Beautiful challenge here as well. This is just gonna be another one. It's just absolutely insane. Watching uh the pros play this i've literally never been this like intrigued by the 1v1 scene in so long i love the crew battle format i hope you guys are watching this tournament because watching these players especially internationally play ones and twos that we've never seen clash before it's just so fun and that's just a great great touch from him he goes up the wall he doesn't jump off the wall he just goes up and hits the ball out first killer is coming in at ass doesn't get the touch because the ball is obviously going out in mid instead of alongside with the wall. So that is just 10-3. GG's in chat. I, I, I enjoyed watching this game. I thought it was pretty crazy. Um, tell me what your favorite game of the day was if you were watching this tournament. If you weren't, I highly recommend that you do watch it. Super exciting stuff. Look at the final scoreboard. 17 shots, 12 saves, 10 goals. Rawas just absolutely playing a phenomenal game. First killer, 14 shots, 3 goals, 6 saves. Fair, uh, solid performance for first killer as well. Uh, 1v1, it, it can always go either way. You can always come back however much time's left. You, you know how 1v1 goes. But I thought it was a good match. Let me know what you think. Sub to the channel. Like, subscribe, comment, of course, what you think. Love y'all. Have a great day. Peace.